Or Gary Shapley telling Maria he's skeptical of special counsel David Weiss's conduct, claiming Weiss hindered Shapley's team while investigating Hunter Biden. The Republican chairman of three House committees are asking Attorney General, the Attorney General to hand over all documents and communications related to Weiss's elevation to special counsel after investigating Hunter Biden for five years. Joining us now is one of those chairmen, Jason Smith, who leads the House Ways and Means Committee. Uh, chairman, thank you so much for joining us. We have a slight it's great delay to be with you, Jason. because the chairman is actually in Berlin trying to convince the Europeans that a global minimum tax is a bad idea. But we're going to save that for the moment. And I want to talk about this investigation into the Bidens because um, according to the documentation here, Joe Biden was using a number of different pseudonyms, uh, fake names, to be able to communicate uh, during his time as vice president. Now, the universe of these documents is something like 5,300. The Heritage Foundation, of which I'm involved with, uh, issued a FOIA. They found 2,500 pages of documents between the Department of Justice and David Weiss and roughly 1,000 documents or emails from Rosemont Seneca communicating with the White House, a universe of thousands of documents that Congress has not yet been able to see. What are you going to do about it, Chairman? You know, Jason, Joe Biden using fake names and more than 5,000 emails is not much different than the pattern that we have seen with the Biden family. For example, Joe Biden has been referred to as the big guy. He's been referred to as the brand, according to a lot of individuals who's been testifying before Congress. And not to mention, the Biden family created more than 20 LLCs that just just were used to transfer money from one entity to another. They're used to using uh, fake names, fake companies, and it, it's quite disturbing, especially when you're talking about more than $20 million that, come, that has came into the Biden family from foreign governments such as Ukraine, China, Romania. Is there any excuse that you've heard or can justify where Rosemont Seneca, the, the company that the Hunter Biden is involved and engaged with, would have more than a thousand, the allegation is, a thousand emails communicating with the White House and the vice president? Why, why would that be justified? It's not justified, Jason, and that's the issue. From the very beginning, several years ago, President Biden is on record multiple, multiple times saying he knows nothing of his son's business dealings. And then the day after the Ways and Means Committee released the transcripts of the two IRS whistleblowers, the White House started singing from a different tune. They said that the president was not involved in his son's business dealings. Well, let me tell you, when you look at more than a thousand emails being sent to the administration, it definitely shows some kind of involvement. And you tell me, you, you were a member of Congress, Jason, as well. You pay attention to see where there might be conflicts of interest with your family members and you don't participate in that. Apparently, this president likes to participate where there's conflicts of interest with his family members. So the big question for Congress moving forward is, are they going to start this impeachment inquiry? That's not an impeachment, but it's an inquiry to give you more power to actually issue subpoenas to get the documents that Congress wants. How do you see this playing out? And what is the, the problem um, and the challenge that you're going to have if the government isn't funded beyond September, the end of September? You know, Jason, we've said all along that we're going to follow the facts and see where they're leading. They're continuing to lead to President Biden. Moving towards an impeachment inquiry will help give us stronger tools to continue this investigation. Myself, Jim Jordan, and Jamie Comer have, have been stonewalled so many times by this administration, whether it's the Justice Department, the IRS, the FBI, and continuing to get more information and bringing people forward to answer questions that have to be answered. If funding 
is, is stalled, if there is a government shutdown, that would stop all of these investigations. That's absolutely the wrong thing. The American people deserve a government that's working for them, and we have to continue these investigations. So part of the core question here is how to do the funding itself. A lot of people want to divide the question, be able to vote on FEMA assistance separately from, say, the, the, uh, the Ukraine money. Uh, where the White House is asking for $24 billion, but only $12 billion from FEMA, plus all of the other funding options. Is Congress, is the, are the House Republicans going to be united enough to be able to divide the question and then send that over to the Senate? You know, I'm glad I'm not a appropriator and I'm focused on tax and trade, but I think that we will get the job and job done at the end of the day. Uh, so many times people have doubted our small house majority and we've been able to follow through, whether it was passing a border, border bill, whether it was passing NDAA, whether it was addressing the Fiscal Responsibility Act. We'll be able to pull it together and we're going get it, to get it done. I, I, I appreciate the optimism there. Tell us very quickly, Chairman, you're in Berlin. The Europeans want a global minimum tax. What would that mean for Americans? And what's the case that you're making to say, hey, we shouldn't be doing this. We don't need to raise taxes. Jason, I'm here on behalf of the American taxpayers because by the Biden administration entered into an agreement with foreign countries in order to basically suck away $120 billion of our tax revenues and distribute it amongst 130 other countries. This would only harm the American worker, but it would harm the American worker and the American small business and empower China. It's the absolute wrong direction for our country, but it's a wrong direction for the world. And I'm making sure that the other tax writers know that the Biden administration cannot enter into an agreement. I'm the Ways and Means Committee is the chief tax writing committee. And as chairman, I will make sure that this agreement never becomes law in the United States. Well, Chairman Jason Smith, I really do appreciate you joining us here. Uh, looking forward to see what's happened with the appropriations when you get home, but also the Biden family business dealings and that investigation as well. Thank you for joining us on Sunday Morning Futures. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it.